Hey! Mano Put your hands up! I don't know if that's a knife. Mano Sarriba! Well, tonight we're getting a first look at the dash and body worn camera video right before Columbus police officers shoot and kill an armed suspect Monday night. It happened around 1145 near Old Sullivan Road and Industrial Parkway. Thanks for joining us tonight at six. I'm Yolanda Harris. Andrew is off tonight. The coroner's office identified the man as 35 year old Noel Hernandez. New video released today shows him holding an object and moving toward police officers. 10 TV's Lacey Crisp explains what happened on the body worn camera video. You can hear officers yell at Hernandez to stop. Put his hands up when Hernandez does not stop. They try to tase him twice, but he continues. That's when the officer shot and killed him. Had a male caller say that there was a male walking into the store threatening people with a knife. Several people called 911 concerned about Noel Hernandez's behavior Monday night. And there's a man on foot walking up to people's car, banging on them. Columbus police say four hours before officers were called for a well being check on Hernandez. There was no threat to anyone, no threat to him. They also spoke to him. He said he didn't have any issues, wasn't going to harm himself, and was tired. The officers at that point had no legal standpoint to go into the home as he would not allow them in. Officers left. Fast forward to 1145. Hernandez stops, gets out of his car, bangs on the hood with a sharp object in his hand. He gets back in his car and takes off. He concerned about the people that were on the roadway um, and concerned about the, the residents and citizens that were driving down the road. You can see at one point another driver is close to Hernandez before he takes off again. That's when he gets out and officers surround him. Officers try twice to tase Hernandez, but it does not stop him. He continues moving towards officers, then five officers shoot. Based on what we saw in the video, uh, there was no policy violated. Police explained because of the time of day when it happened, the mobile crisis response was not available. It was not available at this time. Situations like this where it's fast evolving and it's a violent situation, we do not bring in our clinicians until we've secured the scene. So in that situation, my clinicians would have been held back until the officers took care of secured the scene. But Chief Elaine Bryan explained officers have crisis response training for situations like this. We do uh, provide crisis intervention training for our officers. So 